Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to create this graphic that you see in here. It's completely done in vectors in Affinity Designer. So let's start. Um, the first thing I did is create, as you see here, a background layer and I locked it so it doesn't move around when I'm working. And the second thing I did is, well, when I finished, uh, is I grouped everything. But as you can see, if I just uh, toggle this, you're going to see all the layers um, that form the, the envelope. So, well, I'm going to keep this one just as a reference, so I can just you know, take colors and stuff from there. But I will be showing you uh, which colors I used. It will be faster if I keep it there, so I don't have to rethink uh, the colors I would like to use for this. But um, you should know that as I work, um, I go just trying, and, or either I get a reference, or I just made, made up the colors or whatever. So, well, let's start, as I said. Um, put it here and the first thing probably I want to do because I don't always work things the same way um, it's not said that what I'm going to do is the only way to do it uh, there's many ways you could be working this but um, I mean you can just if you are a little bit advanced you can just try your own ways um, and if you just want to follow along you can do so too okay so the first thing I'm going to do is take this rectangle tool and I'm gonna do some nice background here. It doesn't have to be exactly the same um, size as I said. I'm I'm going to recreate it. It won't be exactly the same, but uh, you know you will get the idea of how to build this. If I wanted to reproduce it exactly the same, I would take my measures and all that. But it's not the case. I just want you to to just get familiarized uh, which uh, with the with the way I I work this kind of uh, illustration. Uh, we will be seeing some some nice tools like uh, shapes, uh, gradients, transparencies, uh, masks, things like that, okay? Um, as you can see here, this line, I have this, the snapping and, and, and all these uh, tools in here, I have them on because I like uh, objects to, to snap in the canvas and I like them to, you know, to be nicely positioned. It helps me um, to just put everything in place, so I would recommend you to have it on too. Okay, so well, I have already uh, my background sets. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I click V and um, let's say, because this is the way I work, I just figure out as I go. Sometimes I would do it one way, sometimes I would do it some other way. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's just go like this. Okay. If I had a vector reference, which is the case in here, probably probably I would just click on here, do command C, now click on here and now command shift V and I would just um, copy the properties. But this is not what we want, so what I'm going to do is not what we want because I want to, to understand the way I did it. So let's check what I have in here. First off, I have a gradient fill, as you can see. And then what I have, if we go to effects, you're gonna see I have an outer shadow and an inner shadow, okay? The inner shadow corresponds to this line in here, as you can see. And the outer shadow corresponds to the, I'm gonna click in here, this shadow you see around, okay? So let's go ahead and create it from scratch. So we go to fill. I already have gradient selected. If I hadn't, I probably instead of coming here, I would use this tool. It feels much more comfortable for me. Okay, because you just take it and you can just move it on like that. It's just fantastic. So, so the next thing I will do now is just take my reference, come here, and I look at the colors I have. So, um, let's just put it in um, this so I can nicely see this is the color in hexadecimal okay that's for the first stop color which is this one so I know that now I have to put exactly the same in this one okay so I change it to a a a a a a I have one now I go for the other which should be C9, 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 
and I'm gonna do exactly the same for this one. Uh, yeah. C9, C9, C9. Okay. So I already have the background color for this. Now probably what I have to do is adjust a little bit this. So it looks more like a gradient, the one I have in the reference. Just leave it something like that. So the next thing I want to do is create this area here, which is the glue that allows you to close the envelope. Uh, the, the thing I thought is just to keep it in one shape. I don't want to put nothing on top in, in here. So what I did is put this inner shadow. If I, sorry, I'm going to select, if I go to layers, it would be easier probably. Yeah, this is the one. So see, it shows in there. So I, I want to keep it one shape, okay? I create uh, an inner shadow. Why shadow not a glow? Well, because the, the shadow has an angle here and I can just put it in this area that, that I want. If I put a glow, it's gonna show all over the, the shape and that's not what I want. So I come here. Well, first off, as I said, I'm gonna take this as a reference, the colors and all. This is the color and I'm going to do, you can copy it from here if you want. I'm gonna command C, copy it. Now I come here, but I'm going to create this like uh, from scratch. And I said, inner shadow, I say yes, I copy the color I just got from the other one, click enter, so you can see, you can still see nothing, you just need to pull this up in order to start seeing anything at all. What happens now is just, you hardly can see anything in here, why? Well, come here to this uh, layer effects and change this multiply to normal that's the first thing you have to do okay now the intensity you come here and now you can adjust it so it's just um nope like that put it there just put your angle something like that just gonna make it a little bit See, original, originally it comes like a multiply, I think it was, or maybe it was a screen, whatever it was, it's not what we want, okay? So just um, remember to change this, if you don't see a thing, to normal, okay? So as I was, I was saying, just um, something like this, something like that. The intensity, I'm gonna put it to the top. Yeah, so that bit, now I close. Well, as you can see in here, this is nicely, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it better. So this is nicely rounded in here, in the corners. Okay, so I want the same to be done in here. How do I do this? For the ones that don't know, I select this uh, shape and come here. This is the corner tool. I just have to select it and go like this. And now as you can see, it's nicely rounded. It's just so convenient and so fast. Just love this tool. Okay. So we have that done already. Next thing I'm going to be creating. Um, let's see. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to duplicate it. So Command C, Command V. Now I come up here to Transforms and flip it vertical. Okay. And now with the, well, I could do it with the cursors, but I can also do shift and because I have activated all the snapping, I just come here and it's nicely adapting to what I need. So I have this area in here. Um, now I need to get rid of this. I'm not interested in the, in this effect. So I'm going to unclick it. Okay, so we have that now. Next thing would be, let's see, um, um, I'm going to create this area here. Uh, let me check what I did in here. Okay, so this is, I must this into this shape. So what I'm going to do probably, maybe I do it different now. I'm just gonna take this one, Command C, Command V. Just drag it, click in Shift again. Sorry, click in Shift again here. Okay, 
looks a little bit different because that one goes up. I can change that later anyway. What I need to be doing now is just take these colors and apply them in this shape. I'm going to do it manually so you see the colors and everything instead of just uh, copy the style, obviously. So let's just check this one. It has a gradient. And again, where is this um, color here? So this is the color. I'm going to command copy F O E C E 3. And I'm going to apply this to the first top. This is called color stop in here. So I just paste it and apply. And now for the second one, which would be this one. And this is E9 E2 D8. So I copy it and come here again and apply this to my second stop. So that is done. And now I need to change this to some color similar to that. I did exactly the same. I come here to effects. If you don't see these panels in your interface, you just have to come here to view, studio, and you have the main panels. So if you don't see effects, for example, now, you're going to have to click in here and it will show, okay? As I was saying, I need to do exactly the same I did on the top area. Uh, let's just check what I did in here. Um, this is an outer grow, but I have to have something else. Let me just... Yeah. Okay, this is not an effect. I did it differently this time. But see, this is what I mean. Sometimes I do it one way, sometimes I do it just the other. It's good, so you see different possibilities. So here, I, uh, just to recap, I did uh, an inner shadow it was. Here, what I'm going to, what I did actually, is put a stroke and uh, make it thick three points, okay? So let's go with that. First off, I'm gonna make it three. Okay, it's just better to type it in the field. I have it here now, okay? Now I need the color. So, this is the color. I copy it. It's FFF5E9. So I come here and I just paste it. Okay, what's going on here? Well, what's going on is that you cannot see the rest because we still have this effect, which is covering that area. So what we, have, what we need to do is just, this corresponds to this, unclick it, and now you can see it, okay? Um, I can tell, as you see, this color and this color don't look the same. That's pretty usual. It usually happens. Um, probably it's just a, an effect. I'm just going to put them side by side. And yeah, exactly, they are the same. <laughs> they don't, but they are. So, but that's very typical. Uh, probably it's because this and that is not the same color. So what we're gonna do next is just, uh, you know, match these two colors. Uh, and again, the same thing. Uh, well, now because you saw how, how I did it, to go faster, I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna command copy, I'm gonna click in this, and I'm gonna um, click command shift V. So we have exactly the same colors. Now, next thing I need to do, just to give it a little bit of um, three-dimensionality, is create uh, creating this this um, shadow. It's an outer shadow. Okay, I'm just gonna check um, the values in here, which is um, 10 more or less and 1.5, and this is the angle. So I'm gonna do the same for this one. So I put it down here first off, and I'm gonna make this 10. Sorry, didn't well just let's go like this. So mm, yeah, more or less. Okay, that would be it. Yep. And I uh, want this to be a little bit more like this one. What was the value? 1.5. Okay, so why 1.5? It's just because when I was creating it I thought it was just looking good has no more mystery. Okay, um, as I said before, I just don't like the way this looks. Uh, I would like it to be masked inside this shape, okay? 
To do that, I select the background shape, the one that is going to be holding the other one, and I come in here, okay? It says insert inside that selection. I click it, and now I grab the other one. I command X, okay, which is uh, cutting. Now I select again this one. As you can see, this remains as uh, clicked as it was. And now I'm going to click command V. What happened? So you can see is that now this one is nested in the other, okay? Now I need to do some tweaks because I don't really like the way this looks in here. As you can see here, it goes a little bit uh, nicer way. So what I'm going to do is just make uh, this. I'm going to put it a little bit up and I'm going to make it wider too, something like that. Now I'll just position it um, maybe even more like this. Yeah, I think this could work better for what I'm looking for, the effect, more to be like this. Now, issues I'm he seen here is this shape is covering this one. We don't want that. We want that one to be um, this one, actually, the one we just nested, the one we just masked. We want it to be on top. For that, what I can do is I come to layers, and I see this is the shape. So you can see, I want to just uh, be below this one. Okay, so what I have to do is just position it, it below it. So you can see here now, it nicely goes underneath the other. Now I need to reshape this in a way that looks more like the reference. Probably I want to put this one a little bit up too. Yep, and something like this. Let's see. Hmm. 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 Let's go something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. So next thing. Um. And again, we have this area in here. I need to check what I did here because I don't remember. I like to. I, I like the way it looks. So I would like to see how that is done. Which I don't really remember. Okay, it's part of this shape. No, it's not. Aha! Okay, so what I've done is just position a second um, shape underneath this one. Okay? So that's what is exactly what I'm going to do now. I command copy, command V. So now I have this two in here. That one below, I'm going to just pull it down a little bit. You cannot really tell very well because I really need to change the colors. Um, I'm gonna just put it like that. Uh, first off, sometimes I just go and put some random colors so I see what's going on in, here, in there. See, this is not interesting because it starts like this and goes, you know, in this shape. And what I want is just to keep being exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back. Okay. I'm gonna put some different random color just to see what's going on. And I'm gonna make it bigger. Yeah. And now I get the effect I want. Just a little bit bigger again. Something like that. Yeah. And now I just need to, uh, to pick this color. So let's just check the color for this one. Is this in here? F6FOE4. I copy it. And I'm going to apply it to, okay, this one in here. Yeah. So we have it. Okay, so more or less we have almost the envelope, the whole thing. Now, if you did things like I did before, I just realized that I have a stroke in here that I don't really want. Okay, so this stroke comes because I, copy, I copied the style of this shape in here. To the background. Well, I forgot to um, just erase the stroke. So go ahead and say none, okay? Because we don't want it. That way, this shape gets um, nicely snapped to the rest of the envelope, something like that, okay? So this is what we want. Now, as you can see in here, I have a line. It would be the folding area. So let's go ahead and create it. We click in here 
and we click in here. Well, usually I would just zoom in just to see a little bit better, but uh, for the sake of you know making it wider for you and, and clearer, um, I'm just doing it like this, okay? So I have my line in here. Um, be careful because what you want to do is just put some nice color to, to your uh, line and just make it white some just just a little bit not too much something like that and the color I'm gonna make a little bit more um, something like grayish still I would like it to have more of a shadow like it has in here it, it gives much better than the idea of um, you know, volume so probably I'm gonna make some tweaks in here something like this and even if I click like that I create another stop so you can see and I'm going to apply a little bit of a darker color here see. Oh, okay I cannot see it like that so I'll just place it there okay so coming back to what I was I want to just put some more color in there mm. Mm, where's my color wheel something like so and probably like so okay I kind of like it better here well, I hope you get the idea of what I'm doing uh, yeah with these uh, stops and these um, sliders here you can just go tweaking the whole thing okay so the next thing I'm going to be doing is this shadow you see in here so for that I select this shape in here and I go to effects and I'm going to apply an inner shadow okay so now you can see it's been applied in here so I have to make some tweaks in order to just get it better instead of working here I'm gonna work click in here because I get an extra possibility which is intensity okay so first off I'm gonna pull up a little bit the opacity um, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller I'm just trying to imitate what I see in here um, the intensity like this the offset like that you know it's just go around playing with the sliders and just get it more or less the way you want it okay so that's it more or less just looks very similar um, I still kind of like this much better than this one but probably I will sometimes I just make last uh, moment tweaks so that allows me not to just get too mental in, in certain kind of whatever the thing I'm working on and just keep going with the work and get it done and then at the end just you know make the tweaks I need um, we're gonna create now this area here okay so to do so I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool I'm gonna just do something like so okay I'm gonna zoom in so you see it better okay so what I have here is the last setting I applied what I want well first off we're gonna check what's this color sorry what's this color we copy it well uh, 0095 ff okay so I'm gonna apply it here it's just a solid color yeah and I'm gonna get rid of the stroke because I don't need it okay so what we want to do now is just skew it a little bit like so so if you roll over like this you're gonna be able to just skew your shape but before doing that I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller something like that and now something like this yep um, if I need to make some changes I'll do them later okay so next thing I'm going to be doing is um, smart copy this shape okay so to do so I click command and J I drag the shape like so something like that okay and now for you to see it better I'm gonna just place it there keep clicking command J so it will create all this line for me so I can place it okay I created more than I needed this goes out but bit 
Now I think I'm gonna make this a um, little bit smaller. I group them. I'm gonna make them yeah a little bit smaller. So what I'm actually going to do is just leave this in here, group them, I'm gonna make them mm, something like yeah something like this maybe zoom in and just make them also a little bit wider you know now it's just a matter of tweaking them to get exactly what you want so let's go to layers and let's get rid of I'm sorry the last three or even four uh, with them now I'm gonna just put them like so um, yeah if I need as I said if I need to make some tweaks I will make them later hmm so how many three six nine twelve three six nine twelve thirteen yeah mm. yeah okay so I'm gonna leave it like that now I need to know what color is this red so for that select it copy the color again the same process as we saw several times before now I'm going to select the ones I want to turn red and I come here and I paste the color so I have them like so now I duplicate and in transforms I'm going to flip like so now yeah kind of like it like this let's see Mm -hmm. something like that yeah and now we need to get rid of the ones that we don't need which would be also this 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 and the ones on top out with this out with this and out with this yeah and now I duplicate this one um, I probably flip it like this and I move it click and shift so it just mant maintains the snapping and everything is placed nicely yeah so that be it more or less um just like it better here uh something like that yeah that works so i'm gonna make this a little bit smaller like this so it looks overall looks better um what did i do here just touch something okay let's just yeah no i don't like it now i click v and shift so i just move it to the other side and it's nicely aligned with the other one mm -hmm. so yeah i think this could work now i like this gap in here so what can i do about that mm -hmm. probably i need to pull this up a little bit like that um move this line which is the Hold like that. Just don't like the color of this line. I'm gonna make it more like gray. Oh um, my wheel. Yeah, something like that could work better. I still like this one. So I go tweaking things as I go along. I need to make this a little bit darker. Oh my god. Just gets in the middle so much. Okay, so let's repeat. So you can see. It's always there. I don't know how I do it, but I always have it in my way. Okay, so mm, mm, now I did it too much. Too much. Just 
Yeah, I think that works better. Okay, next step would be giving it this kind of like a shadow in there. So for that, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna apply a rectangle in here, just like so. I'm gonna make it a solid color, something like, yeah, I'm gonna make it that initially. Uh, now I'm gonna take the transparency tool and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because otherwise it's gonna be hard to work with. So I apply this like so, and I put this like this, click V. Let me look from a distance. I need more tweaks in here, so it looks more like this one does. So I go tweaking now the way just works for me. If you click shift, it's gonna just make it easier for you to just move it without it going to the sides and you know moving the angle, which is not what I want. So yeah, more or less like this. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna just put it there. Okay, yeah. So now I'm gonna zoom in and make it and move it and place it exactly where I want. Okay, well, when you zoom in, you can see some stuff that needs to be more accurately done. Okay, so those little things I just go fixing along the way as I go working. Okay, you need to, you know, know your tools first very well so you can work faster. It's interesting that. Okay, so. I have those in here placed, now I copy, duplicate it, I flip it and again click and shift, I move it to the other side and yeah, there you go, we have this effect, it could be darker but you get the idea, I'm not gonna be tweaking every detail fine tuning because otherwise it would take like two hours to do this. So um, next thing we want to do probably is creating this uh, sheet in here, the paper sheet. So to do so, we take this, just put it like so in here. It doesn't really matter the width. Okay, so we have the color. So now we need to place it um, inside the envelope, obviously. To do so, I'm gonna cut it, Command X, I'm going to select the shape that is going to uh, contain because I'm going to create a mask. So I come here, I select the shape. Sometimes it's just better to select in, in the layers panel because it just takes too many clicks to get to the shape itself. So as we did before, I click in inside, inside, inside selection, like so. And now I command V and now it's uh, masked inside as you can see, okay? Good, 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 good. Well, now I need to do some little tweaks in here. I'm still not convinced with this color, so what I want to do is just make it a little bit lighter here. The same for this one, because it looks better if it's a little bit lighter, even like so. And now I want to move my paper. So yeah, it looks way better like this. I may tweak also this one a little bit down and again this one a little bit like this. Oopa, no way. I need to take this and that because I need them to go together. Okay, so I think I like this. Yeah. Now we need to place the text in here. You can take whatever text is, you can write it yourself, whatever. I just took some dummy text from the, from the internet, copy pasted it. So now I take my text tool 
and I paste my text, it's not formatted, so I just do it by hand, something like that. Uh, like this, okay. I need it to be some gray color, something like, opa, <laughs> where did I go? Something like this, more or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. probably want it a little bit more closer together. So yeah, something like that. And now what we need to do is again the same thing. We want this to be inside the envelope. So I command X, click on my paper sheet, and now it's just it's not masked. It's just placed on top of this um, layer. It's masked. It's masked uh, inside the the mother uh, shape, which would be this one. But in here, it's just placed inside. I mean, on top of uh, the paper sheet. So yeah, next thing would be, um, I think I'm going to, oh sorry, this is the original envelope, so I think I'm going to change the, to some area, to some normal Arial, yeah, and I'm going to include uh, the dates, so let it be just the same as I have in the other design something like that and I make it sorry I make it bold yeah just that bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's just pull it down this a bit and this make it some sorry five so it looks better and this has to be also a bit smaller okay so we have placed the, the text inside and now we're gonna go for the last two elements in the in the envelope which would be the airmail uh, seal and this or the seal i created let's go with this first um so you can see here we have some text going along a path and you know some elements i'm gonna show you how i created this so the first thing i'm gonna take the circle tool i'm gonna remove the fill i'm gonna change this to something darker and i'm gonna go to brushes and select something i have this selected let's try if i like it so click and shift and we go like this Mm. Okay, I see nothing because I have it placed in none. Okay. Mm. So what I did, I don't remember which one I used. One of these. Uh, but you know, it's not very important. Just choose the one you, ooh, <laughs> you prefer for your purposes. Something that looks cool to you and, you know, it, it looks more or less like... Um, a real seal. Uh, I like this one, I like it better than this one, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, I'm gonna just copy and paste, duplicate it. Um, I'm gonna make the inner circles. As I said, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. If you wanna make it the same, just do it the same, but I'm just showing you more or less what I did. Um, okay, I'm gonna move this so it looks a little bit more real. Maybe I just pull down this a bit, something like that. Now I copy paste it again, duplicate it, and make another inner circle, which I'm going to just move to. I select the three of them, and here in the range, I click align center, align center, both horizontal and vertical. And now I'm going to group. And what I want to do next is creating this text following a path. For that, I create a new circle, which won't be seen at the very end. It's just to apply the text. Just put it somewhere here, more or less like, like so, something like that. Let's try with this. We can also align it vertically and horizontally. Opa. So like this and like this. And now we text. Uh, we take the text tool 
As you can see here, you see this little T with a wavy line below it. That happens when you approach the line, okay? So you just click and say whatever you want to write. Post office department in my case. So you can see this one is going this way, but that one is different. Okay, if I want to do that exactly the same way I did it before, I click, um, well, I select the whole text. I did this in just one go, clicking the upper cursor and a shift key. So it selects the whole text. And I come here to reverse text path. Just do it like that. Now you see it changed. I can just move it like this. And I can also make my text a little bit smaller if I want. Let's try with two. Maybe it's just way too small. I'm gonna leave it at three. Okay. So as you can see, the line, the circle disappear. So we have this in here. Now just click a little bit and I duplicate. Then I move it along like so. And we have the other side. I always like to move it just like a little bit like that. Now we're gonna create two stars with the star tool. Quite easy to do. Uh, we remove the stroke and put a fill color, something like that. Let's see if I like it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to spend much time just placing these things. You know what you have to do because it's, you know, just placing a couple of shapes in here. So I select them, duplicate, flip them, move them. And just place them what I want them to be, which would be approximately in here. No, not in there. Uh, not in there, because it's too close to the text. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Tweaks, tweaks, tweaks. You know, tweaks you have to do. Okay, let's leave it like this. I think it works. And now we need to create these lines. For that, I just take the pen tool. Sorry. I just take the pen tool. And go like this. Again, I need to make sure I have my stroke color set to something. Otherwise, I won't see a thing. Okay, this is way too thick. So I'm going to make it a little bit... Thinner, something like that, something like that. Okay. I'm sure you get the idea of what, I, of what I'm doing. Just tweaking things so they look nicer. Now I need to duplicate this. Let's just put it there. Um, I could smart copy too, but yeah, I'm gonna do it manually. Something like that. Group them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Group them. How many of them do I want? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe something like this. Just as I said, I like the the look of it not being perfect, just like it's been moved and it's it's not computer made. So, well, there you go. More or less, this is what we wanted. So I place it there. I kind of like this one way better than this one. Um, looks more real to me. You could add something in the center if you want. You know, up to you to do so. And now the last bit, which would be just creating Mm. With the rounded rectangle tool, we just create a rectangle. We just get rid of the fill. We take the red color, sorry, we get rid of the fill. We take the red color in the stroke. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we see it better. What we want to do now is just make like we did here before, just so it looks a little bit more like it's not perfect. In this case, and because you saw me doing it before, I'm going to copy the style by Command-C, 
Now I click on the stroke I want to reproduce the effect and click Command Shift V. Okay, oh, I also copy the color, of course. I forgot about that detail. So, see, I like this. It's just like not so perfect. Now I can make my tweaks, tweaks again, just made it like this, and change the color again because it copied the one that I was not looking for. What is it? Yeah, here. So, there you go. Now we need to write our text. Air mail, in this case. Now we just make it bigger, some 14, something like that. Bold. Just place it somewhere there that looks like center. Range, center, horizontal, center, vertical. It's way too much up. Something like this. Now um, we need to change also the color for this one. So we come here and select our red color. Yeah, we are going to group both of them. Command G. And now we're gonna just paste it like so. So it looks more like a seal. Uh, Opa, sorry. Clicking Alt, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. So it constrains proportion and doesn't get distorted. Okay, so, mm, yeah, it's not exactly the same, but I kind of like this one a little bit better. The lines are just um, more like a real seal. I'm gonna make it, make it a little bit thicker, something like that. As I said before, you know, last minute tweaks, they are what give you, you know, uh, the best looks at the very end. Um, and lastly, well, I need to apply this shadow. I need to think how I want to do it. I'm going to try and group the whole thing I've done and come into effects. I'm going to apply, because I want it all over the, the envelope, I'm not going to apply shadow. I'm going to apply an outer glow, which allows me to just, you know, radiate all around. So I go like this and I go like that and I'm gonna intensity also, something like that. Like this, change this to normal because it wasn't multiply. As I said before, sometimes you can see nothing when it's in multiply. Uh, change the angle. Yeah, tweak all this and now the opacity. I think it works, yeah. So yeah, basically that beats one and the other. Pretty similar. Okay, so basically that's it for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have doubts, um, just let me know. I will try to help you when I have uh, minutes. Um, and if you want to show me what you've done, I'll be glad to see it. Um, see you next tutorial. Bye-bye.